Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. We're very lucky to have an audience like you all, so we always try and come up with something new. In this video, we plan to try and provide solutions to DPC watchdog violation errors. This may seem like a new term, but what if I told you, you've probably experienced it before, especially if you have an older computer or an old PC. In this video, I'm going to tell you what causes DPC watchdog violation errors and how to fix them. Let's go! First of all, DPC means Deferred Procedure Cell and Watchdog means Bug Checker. Bug Checker monitors the PC performance and Windows program. It's mainly a type of error that occurs with a blue screen and an error message, and then your PC will automatically restart. This obviously stops you working smoothly. Sometimes even, your PC won't turn back on and you will keep on getting this error. And that's why we're going to tell you what causes DPC Watchdog violation errors and how to fix them. Before telling you how to fix DPC watchdog violation errors, it's very important to know what causes them. There are lots of different reasons in Windows 10, but I'm going to tell you some of the main reasons. Number one is corrupted files. If an important system file is corrupted and not working properly, it seems pretty obvious that that could be causing issues and meaning your PC will not turn on or run smoothly. Second of all is new software, especially if this new software is similar to another piece of software and this can be a common cause of DPC watchdog violation errors. For example, if you install a new antivirus and you didn't uninstall your old one, you'll have two antiviruses trying to run the same tasks and this can lead to DPC watchdog violation errors. Third of all is driver and SSD firmware not up to date. This is a very common reason and one of the most significant causes of DPC watchdog violation errors in Windows 10. Finally for number four is unsupported hardware. The Windows operating system on your computer may not be compatible with some or multiple of the hardware devices and hardware in your PC, once again causing the error. For the first solution, you need to remove all external devices connected to your PC. This can be scanners, printers, memory cards and anything you've connected, especially since the error started occurring. Once you've removed these, you can turn on the PC again and if you don't get the error anymore, then you know it's one of these external devices causing the problem. You should then replace the devices one by one. This will mean you'll find out which device is causing the error if when you plug a device back in, you then start getting DPC watchdog violation errors once again. Once you've done this, you know which device is causing the problem and you can either try and find out further why that is the problem or stop using that external device. Changing the SATA AHDI controller can be a good method to eradicate DPC watchdog violation errors in Windows 10. And I'm going to show you just how to do that. It only takes a few minutes. Step one, press Windows plus X together and click on device manager to open it. Next, you need to navigate to IDE ATA slash ATAPI controllers and click on it. Choose the SATA AHDI controller and click on properties. Go to the driver tab and click on drive details. Check that IASTOR.A.SYS is present as a driver or not. Hit OK if it is. Click on Update Driver and press OK. Choose the Browse Computer for Driver Software option. Click Let me pick from a list of device drivers on my computer. Hit on Standard SATA AHDI Controller and click the Next button. Now we start the computer to execute the changes. After doing all these, the DPC Watchdog Violation Error in Windows 10 can be fixed. If not though, then make sure to try the next solution. Here's the next solution and it's about the SSD firmware. So SSDs are great for speeding up PC performance and making your PC run quicker. But unsupported SSD firmware can cause DPC watchdog violation errors in Windows 10. But it's really easy to update and fix and I'm going to show you again how to do that. Step 1, press Windows plus X together and click on Device Manager to open it. Click Disk Drive to get more options. Enter the model number of the SSD. Open the manufacturer's site and find the updated version of the SSD firmware. Click on download for installing the new version of the SSD firmware. Now restart the PC to fix the DPC watchdog violation errors in Windows 10. Any technical problems with your hard drive can also affect the system files. Luckily though, you can check this with the Disk Check Utility tool in Windows 10. This can also help fix DPC watchdog violation errors in Windows 8. To do this, open command prompt by typing CMD in search box. Launch it by right clicking the command prompt and choose run as administrator. Write the command chkdsk c colon slash f and hit enter. For targeting any particular drive, replace the letter C with your drive name. Type Y and click enter. 
You can also use the Event Viewer to check issues related to your device or driver on your computer. To do this, open the Event Viewer with Windows plus X keys simultaneously and select Event Viewer. Now hit on the Windows logo present on the right hand side of the screen. Click on System and it will show a list of events with errors and warnings. A corrupted operating system, incompatible hardware devices and software can all lead to the stop code DPC watchdog violation. Make sure you check everything. This includes removing all external hardware devices and uninstalling new software. This should help you remove the DPC watchdog violation error and get your PC up and running again. Later, you can use System Restore. Finally, I'm going to show you how to recover unsafe files or lost data if you can't stop the DPC watchdog violation error. And this is going to be done using the Recovery tool. Firstly, download or install the Recovery software to get the unsaved or lost files. Select the location from the Select Location option where you lost the files. Click on Start to begin. If the exact location is known, go to Select Folder in the Select Location tab. Step 2 is Scan the location. When you click on the Start tab, Recovery it will start scanning. If you find the lost data files, pause or stop the process whenever you want. Finally, preview and recover the files. You can preview and see the file type, size, data and so on. When you know you have the files you want to recover, click on the recover button. Click on save to store the files at the change location. Hopefully you now know that DPC watchdog violation errors in Windows 10 are solvable using various solutions and what causes these errors. If you like this video, please click the like button and share this video as much as you can. I will see you next time.